So, you've heard of words like HTML and JavaScript, and you're curious about how to make a website, but you don't really know what they are, and you have no idea where to start. This is the one place. Let's just start at zero. Level zero. <laughs> no, there is no such thing as level zero. Oh yes, there is. And if you feel like you're level zero right now, it's alright, because you'll be level one in just a couple of minutes. We're going to start from this great emptiness and end up in a few minutes with a tiny little cute website that will look like that, with of course a kitten. Hello, my name is whatever. This page says this kitten's name is is Glovus. Just that's an Icelandic kitten. <laughs> I can't wait to get started. When you right-click anywhere, you probably know that you can create a new whatever, new folder, a new Word document, Excel worksheet, and you can also create a text document, which is just a plain lean text file. Name it, uh, I don't know, test whatever, test.txt. When you double click it, it will probably open in Notepad. If it doesn't, you can always do right click, open with Notepad. Here you go. And Notepad is the simplest text editor ever. It's got no colors, no bold text, no big title, paragraph, whatever. It just does one thing write plain lean text. You do not want to use Microsoft Word for that because it's full of underground gibberish. You want just plain lean text. If I save that, file, save, you may be surprised, but you can open this text file in Chrome. If you take this text file and you drag it in Chrome here, Chrome can perfectly display text files. If I keep typing here, save, and I take this file and I drag it again in Chrome, or I can just reload the page, I'll just reload the page here, as you can see, it updates. But the problem is, it's too simple, it's too lean. I, I can't have a big title if I write title here, save, reload. It's I want it to be big and I can't. So what we would like is to add some markup saying, if I could write start big here and and big here something like that the idea is to start big here and big here and whatever's in, inside it would be written big but obviously it doesn't work it's just display start big title and big that's not what i want but instead if i write if i get rid of that if i write this like h that stands for header one close that and instead of n big, I just write n of h1. So if I write this before and this after title, and I save, what do you think is going to happen here? Make a guess. Did you guess? Let's see if you're right and reload the page. Ta-da! It's probably not what you were expecting. You were expecting to not see this and that, did you? And see a big title. Well, no, because this is a text file, and text is just raw, pure text, and just displays whatever's written in here. In order for this or that to be considered as markup and do something, we need to change this kind of file from text to HTML by simply renaming it. So get rid of the extension TXT and change that to HTML. Do you want to change the extension? Yes. I'm just going to reload that in Notepad because it's, it's changed the extension and reload that in Chrome and now it works. So this works, doesn't get rendered, but does something to the page. As you can see, the line breaks here on this side don't get rendered here. If I want a line break, I have to uh, write markup for line break, which is BR, which stands for break, break here save, reload, and it works. So now we can start building that. We want hello as a title and my name is, which at this point you already know how to do. Hello. My name is, reload that, and here you go. 
hello my name is next step would be to add an input field and this is surprisingly easy all you have to do is write the input tag which is input end of input this is uh, opening content closing tag and this input is self-closing it opens and closes itself and this generates an input field ready to use isn't that fantastic you can already write in there and it works so the next step is to build a button what we want is an ok button here which is achieved simply by writing button and end of button don't forget to save every time reload and here it is oh, a tiny button it's tiny because there's nothing in it so let's write ok save reload ok and it generates a button it's ready to use but doesn't do anything at the moment when you click it nothing happens i haven't linked it to this input field yet for now let's just add this image here i just googled kitten images and i landed on this random website and you can grab any of them i took this one what you can do is right click copy image address which is the url of the image if you if you go to a new tab and paste that paste and go here you go you got, you got the image and the image url on the internet so here all you have to do is to create an image tag img self-closing and write in the source of the image source equals that just stands for where is the image you want to display and the image we want to display is here copy that and paste it in here and you're done save get back to our test reload i believe the image will display here yes it does that's not exactly what we want we want it to be displayed underneath so we, we need one more line break here break The next step is to center everything. If we look at our final web page, you can see everything is centered. That's not the case here. We need to grab everything, put that in a box, and tell the box, okay, center everything that's inside you. This is done by encapsulating all the contents in a div. So you're right. A div is, is a box. It's, I believe it stands for division. So division, let's start division here, and end division here I just indent the code a little bit so it's clearer to read so now you can see that's the beginning of the box that's, that's the end of the box and that's the content of the box save reload and what happens is visually nothing you cannot see the box there is a box because I, I wrote it here but you cannot see it on my page you can make it visible by adding some style here div space i'm just gonna add some style border uh, red solid two pixels wide and that's all it takes save reload and my box gets a nice border so the next step would be to center the content i do not want the border anymore text dash align center there you go it's as simple as that this one last step is to make this button alive so we need a little bit of javascript javascript's purpose is to bring life to your page when i click this button do something the easiest way to do so is to write inside your button you click here make some space inside your button on click equals alert just like that and this generates a simple alert. It doesn't say anything. This page says nothing. Inside here, I could write stuff like hello, save, reload, and it will say hello. For clarity, we do not want too many things written in here. We want to take it out of here by doing so. Create a script tag. And inside of here, we want to define a block of things to do, which is called a function that we're going to call uh, say hello for instance and that's the syntax that's start of things to do and end of things to do so that's all our function is going to do and our function is going to alert hello so i'm just going to move this 
inside the function. And now, on click, I can just call this function, say hello. Hello. But there is one final step to this. We do not want it to say hello. We want it to repeat whatever we have written in here. Well, you need to read the value of this guy. And this guy doesn't have a name. So you cannot read its value if you don't know its name. We need to identify it by giving it an unique identifier. ID equals name input something. So now we can, we can find it by doing... So I'm going to just get rid of that document dot get element by id name input and now we want to read its value which is reached by doing dot value and that's it now we want to alert that by adding alert this guy's value save reload right whatever and it works. How did I do? There is now a level zero. Well, congratulations, because you're now level one.